Hello. So in my last video I said we were going to try and get Tails to run on a virtual box. Um, it's a bit harder than I originally thought, so instead we're going to go with something else. We're going to get Kali Linux to run on a virtual box. A little bit easier, especially if this is your first uh, virtual box. Alright, so what we'll need to do is get our ISO. Let's go out to Chrome. You want Kali Linux. Here we go. And most recent release at the moment, 18.3. Um, then we can choose how we're going to get it. Uh, I downloaded mine through a torrent, so here we're just going to go to the download button. Uh, I got 32 bit version, a little bit smaller, quicker. So you can either do HTTP download or torrent. I did torrent download, but for sake of speed, we'll just go HTTP. So here it goes downloading, and we're just going to assume it finished. So once it finishes, let's go to our downloads folder. Alright, and then there's Kali Linux. So now we have our ISO, which is the image. Uh, think of it as a disk, it's a disk image of our operating system. That's actually, that's not it that much. There it is, that's the one we want. Okay. So, open up our virtual box. Now we're going to need to make a new machine. So, new. And we're going to name it Kali. Uh, what is the operating system? Linux. And mine is a 32 bit. I don't remember exactly what it runs on. Uh, so, we're just going to leave it as a default Ubuntu. Next, how much RAM we're going to give it? Uh, I'm going to go with 2 gigs. We can always change it, but. For now, let's go 2 gigs, 248, and you can use as much as you want, and a hard drive, so it recommends 10, probably can give it closer to 16, I think, but uh, we want to create a virtual disk image now, so create, and we want a virtual disk image, VDI, next, um, dynamic is good, and we're going to change it to 16. 16 gigs, create, and there we go. So that's the basis of our machine. Now we need to load our ISO into it. So right click it, go into your settings, and general, here's some stuff. Okay, we can change everything. We can go back and adjust our RAM later if we need to. But what we need to do is load our ISO. So we come into storage, and we have our disk controller. We're going to need to load a new disk. So, right click on this little CD icon with a plus, and we're going to choose disk and browse out to where you have your download at. So, mine's my downloads, Kali Linux Lite, and here's our ISO. Select. So, now, uh, idea is this just loaded into the CD tray of this virtualized machine. Uh, we can go through here, you can change your audio, you can change your network adapters. Uh, you can always bridge your settings. So right now, my uh, my virtual machine will use the same NIC example of my actual desktop here. Uh, we can add USB controllers later. These are all the USB items plugged into my machine at the moment. Share folder. You can set up a share on your desktop and share folders between your virtual box. So that's the basics. Oh, if we got that one. okay. Now it's time to start our machine. Okay. Now, when you first click, it's going to try and take your mouse away. So you can click it, and well, I have the pop turned off. So when you click on it, mouse disappears because the mouse is now inside the virtual box. You see, I cannot get out of the virtual box here. Let's see if I turn the pop up back on. No, okay. So my exit button is my right control, which I think is default. So I cannot, my mouse cannot escape this box. If I type anything, it's inside the box. If I'm tapping the Windows key right now, nothing's happening. Right control breaks it, and I can bring my mouse out, Windows button, all that stuff works. So remember that. If you click on it, you'll get a pop-up. Read it. It'll tell you what your default is. Mine is the right control. Yours, de yours default will probably be the same. So now that we're in, I want to do a full install. 
Kali, so install. Just browse up and down, click enter when you want. If you do a live, it's just going to basically be a one time boot and you're going to do this all the time. Uh, a critical error that occurred while running the virtual machine. Well, that's not good. Let's try one more time. And it goes. I'm going to do a full install. Click. I wonder if it's because I have it selected as a 32 bit operating system. Uh, okay, well, let me figure this out and we will come right back. Okay, we're back. Uh, found out the problem. I thought I enabled it long before, but um, I did a BIOS update recently, so that's probably what turned it off. There is a BIOS option called virtualization technology, virtualization, something to that effect. So um, here's an example, some older BIOS. It looks something like this. It'll be uh, virtualization enabled. Um, there's all kinds of different BIOS options we'll have it. Mine's uh, Asus. So it's a bit more, uh, it's a little deeper, but um, yeah, usually under your, under your advanced, but so if you're having any kind of issues, and actually I'll tell you right now, just go boot into your BIOS, dig around, find your virtualization, um, yeah, here, this is actually, it's exactly mine, so mine would be Intel Virtualization Technology, it was disabled, it needs to be enabled, this will help you on many different types of virtualization, if you run, um, Blue stacks or Knox or any type of virtualization machines. Turn that on now. Come back. Start up. So here we go. Got that turned back on. Let's hit our start button. All right. So we're back to this menu. We do install. It's gonna run through a few command lines. Uh, looks like it's trying to get my USB. No, it shouldn't. No. All right, so here's our install screen. Well, let's make this bigger. And I will click my mouse in. So, simple Linux install. If you ever install Linux, it's all really the same. There's a few extra options. If you want English, United States, key mapping, American English, it's good. Okay, and then it just goes through the install process here. If I ever hit a spot, I'll pause the video again, but it shouldn't take too long. It will probably take upwards to maybe 10, 15 minutes, just depending on how you have your machine configured. Like we only left our machine at one processor, so it may be a little slower. I'll tell you what, why we're... Okay, here we go. Post name, we'll leave it Cali for now. You can change it if you like. Uh, domain, we have no domain. All right, root password. You have to set up a root password. Um, since this is just a test machine, let's just call it root. Now, if you're gonna use this machine for other things, please don't use root as your root password. Uh, root password, for those who don't know, it's your admin password for Linux system. Um, verify root. Okay, time zone Eastern, why not? Actually, we're Central, whatever. the entire disk. Remember our disk is only 16 so we have 17.2 available we'll use the whole disk and yep all files and we will finish. Write the disk yes. All right it's going through installing system. Uh, I think we'll pause it here this is probably gonna take a few minutes and I'll come back when it's finished. Okay, that didn't take too long, maybe five minutes. Um, do we want to set up mirror support software? We're gonna tell it no for a moment. And it's gonna keep on doing some more stuff in the background. And 
it's still going. Alright, uh, grub bootloader is going, so and let it go. Alright, grub bootloader. Yep, tell it yes. So this is basically what loads your operating system. And yep, I'll give it this one. Shouldn't take too long. And you can virtualize nearly anything through here. You can do servers, um, workstations. If you can get ISO for it, you can more likely get it running. Hope you're enjoying my excellent background music. It's the only thing keeping my kid quiet. Alright, well, tell you what, we'll just let this go, pause it real quick, and we'll come back. Alright, uh, right after that loading bar finished, uh, Linux popped up, so here you are in Kali. Uh, currently, you only have one user set up, which is your root user, so R O T. Oh, if I click in it. R O O T and password. Give it a second. Yep, so here we are, first time in. Um, We'll probably do a few more of these, maybe some easier Linux setups, which this is pretty easy. It's all the same stuff, really. Um, maybe we'll go over some Linux tool or uh, Kali tools. Uh, but for now, that's it. Any questions, please comment below, and I will try to answer anything I see in the next few weeks. Thank you.